check this out. So here's a video, Raindrops MP4, that I downloaded that's just a video of Raindrops. Here's that video turned into a GIF using FFmpeg. And here's that same video turned into a GIF using Gipski. You see how crisp it is. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make HD high quality GIFs using Gipski. So we'll be using Gipski to make these high quality GIFs. And to do that, we'll go to the Gipsy website and go ahead under download and download the latest command line version. There's a graphical user interface version for Mac, but we're on Windows, so we have to use the command line version. So we'll go ahead and click download. I already have it downloaded on my system. And once you download the zip, all you do is you want to go into win, get the exe. And what I did is add it to my system path. So I just copied that file into a folder on my computer under my C portable apps encoders. I just put the Gipsky exe file there. And then to add it to your system path, you just want to go to your advanced system properties or system settings and under environment variables, edit the path, add new and browse to the location where you placed your Gibski exe. Again, mine is in my portable apps under encoders and I'll hit OK. You may need to restart your PC once you add this to your system path and hit OK. Now, when we open the terminal in Windows, we should be able to simply use Gipsky and we get our options. So Gipsky is up and running. To make a high quality GIF with Gipsky, we first need a sequence of images. I'm gonna go ahead and create a folder here called sequence. And we're going to make our sequence out of this video raindrops. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. I'll show you two. One with Photoshop and one with FFmpeg. In Photoshop what you can do is go to File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. And find the video that you want to make your image sequence from. And I'll say from beginning to end. It will go ahead and import those frames. And then what you can do is go to export render video and you can tell Photoshop to export every frame as a separate image and I'll select the folder sequence we'll set the resolution the file format we'll set PNG and then hit render now this can take some time depending on the size of the image. With FFmpeg, all you have to do is do FFmpeg followed by the input file. In this case, it's gonna be raindrops.mp4. And the output, I'm gonna save it to sequence. And we need to name our sequence of images. I'll just call them frame. And then we need to do percent zero four D. This is gonna give us our digits to keep the sequence organize. So we'll do PNG and hit enter. And in our sequence folder, FFmpeg is creating all the frames that we need to make our high quality GIF. Notice that the resolution of this image is still the same. So this is going to be a really big file. So now we're ready to use Gipski. Let me clear the screen. Now that we have our images ready, we just use Gipsky minus O for output. And we're going to name the file that we want. And it's going to be saved in my Gipsky folder. I'll just call it animated GIF. Followed by the path to our sequences. In this case, it's going to be in sequence and frame. And we're going to use the asterisk here to tell Gipsky to 
use all the files starting with frame. PNG, because that's the file format that we used, and hit enter. And I spelled sequence wrong. And it's going to go ahead and create our animated GIF. Once it's complete, we see we have our GIF. It's got a size of 28 megs, but we've got a really high quality GIF. Now, notice that the resolution of this image, this GIF, is 640 by 360. This is the default resolution Gibski uses. But we can change this in options with the Gibski options. So let's go ahead and look at the options that we have with Gibski. Let's clear the screen here. If we run Gibski help minus H, we see all the options that we have. We have quality options. We can set the width, height, the loop, or as it's called, a repeat here, as well as FPS. Gibski has a max FPS of 50. So you can make some pretty, really nice looking GIFs here. So to change the resolution, we'll run this command again, replacing our animated GIF. And this time, before our output, we're going to specify the width. And I'm going to set it to 1280. This is going to automatically give us a 1280 by 720 image. Gibski automatically scales the width and height. So we'll go ahead and hit enter on that. And this is going to take a little longer because we're making a much bigger GIF. Our image is ready. It's got a size of 100 megs, which is huge for a GIF. But we see it's looking crispy. So let's go ahead and do this again. Let's make another high quality GIF here. And I'm going to do this one for the Chicago video. I'm going to first clean up my frames here and delete them all. And we'll run through our commands. So we'll run our Gibski command again, but this time we're going to specify some different options. Let's set the quality using the quality option. We'll just set it to 100. We'll keep the resolution the same or the default that Gibski provides so we can speed things up. And we can also change the FPS using the FPS. Let's just set it to 50. And we'll set the repeat option as well. And we'll say repeat once. And we'll hit enter. Once complete, we have our second animated GIF. It's got a size of 35 megs. We open it up. We have a 50 FPS crispy nice GIF that repeats once. We open the original video and the GIF. We can see the GIF is sped up because we changed the resolution. But you can see the quality is amazing. Basically a video. Now you may be wondering if it's required to make these sequences of images and can't you just use Gibski to just do something like this where you just create the output from a video like Chicago MP4. You can but not with the version of Gibski available to the public. You have to actually recompile Gibski to enable this functionality. Prior to making this video, I did try to do that and it was a pain. I could not get Gibski to compile with the video features enabled with the versions of FFmpeg that I downloaded. Instead, what I did was I created a batch file to create the sequence of images and run Gibski to create the animated GIF. And all you do is you just double click the Gibski video bat and you supply the video file. We're going to make a 1080p GIF of the Singapore video. Is what it looks like. And we supply the name, so Singapore.mp4, and then the output, I'll call it animated3, 
and we can supply FFmpeg options. I find that Gipsky works best if you already have your image of sequences ready to go without it having to do extra processing. And I also find that Gipsky doesn't seem to want to export 1920 by 1080 p resolution, but we can force it to. So what I would do is I'll go ahead and change the resolution of our sequence of images, VF scale and 1920, 1080. Gipsky options, we're going to set the width to 1920. Then we just hit enter. And this will go ahead and create the sequence of images with each image being 1920 by 1080. And then Gipsky is going to run right on top of that to create our 1080p high quality, very large animated GIF. Our image is baked. It's got a size of 230 megs. This is the original video. This is the GIF. And so that is a look at Gipsky. Now it's not required that you have FFmpeg to use Gipsky, but it does help for pre-processing some of these files. I have a video on setting up and installing and using FFmpeg. So check that video out if you are interested in using that. This batch file will also be on my GitHub page as well. Mm -hmm.